Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Gabby and today is Monday, so that means we're having another perfume haul. I've got in here, I believe, around 10 fragrances and I have some fragrances that I absolutely love. I have one that everyone talks about and at the beginning I wanted to try it and after that I was like, mm, I'm not sure, but in the end I just bought it so I can review it because everyone was asking Gabby what do you think of this new release we need to know we need to know so here I have it uh, but before we start with the haul guys thank you so much for all of your support I literally we are almost sold out with my fragrance chocolate queen this is the last week this is the last week when we're gonna have the sale 20% off take advantage of it it's almost sold out this is the moment to get it okay this is the moment because like i said it's the last week when you're gonna have 20 percent off um i'm gonna leave the link for my video where i talked about the shipping the taxes navitus is gonna pay the taxes for lots of countries um you're getting free shipping for usa free shipping for uk and then for worldwide and also europe you are getting free shipping if you buy two fragrances and also you are getting more discount the more you buy the more discount you're getting but again, thank you so much for all of your support. Like I said, this is the last week that we're going to have the sale, the 20% off. So grab it before it's gone because we don't have that many bottles left, okay? We don't have that many bottles left and I'm just... I'm speechless, honestly. I can't believe this is actually happening. I can't believe we sold so many bottles. I can't believe uh, we got so many positive reviews. You can find them obviously here on YouTube, on Instagram. So many of you told me how much you love Chocolate Queen and I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy to hear that. And yeah, enough with the talking, enough with the talking. Um, let's start with the haul, yeah? Like I told you, I have in here like 10 perfumes. Most of them are gonna be niche we have a designer private collection we have some perfumes that literally nobody talks about and they need more recognition and then we have some very very hyped up perfumes right now that with some of them i really like them and with the others i'm not really sure so before we start if you like this video don't forget to big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in all right let's start with the only designer that i've got in here and that is from carolina herrera this one it's gold incense I've actually tested this perfume in the past and I was like, I need this, I need this in my life. This is a presentation, beautiful presentation. It actually, if you're choosing for a gift box, it's gonna come like this and then you're getting some minis and then you're getting some samples as well. Initially, I bought a few months ago Gold Mer Absolute. It was a blind buy. I didn't open the box, I just opened the sample and I realized it's not for me. But I chose a sample of gold incense as well and I just fell in love with this fragrance now enough with the talking this is the bottle beautiful gold bottle you're getting magnetic cap and actually if you for your first order you're getting 10% off it's it's still expensive I know it's very expensive with the 10% off it's still expensive but you know I, I like a good discount so let's spray it I do really, really like it. When I saw the name of, of, okay, before I actually tested it, gold incense, I was like, nope, absolutely not. I like some incense in my perfumes, but like a perfume that has incense in, in, in the name, absolutely not. But this one is so beautiful. What I'm getting is, I'm getting this vanilla with a bit of incense and I'm getting lots of, it has a uh, labdanum and then I think it has some sandalwood as well. This is what I'm getting. You know, labdanum is that flower that has this leathery touch. This is what I'm getting. Like a leather with vanilla and just a tiny bit of smoke. It's not very smoky to be honest. For me, the incense is actually not strong at all. This is gonna be just amazing for the winter time. Like right now is the perfect moment. It's a beautiful scent. It's it's a very, very beautiful scent. It's like dark, sexy, that type of scent. Don't be afraid for me. It's quite feminine. Again, it's dark. It's a very dark scent, okay? But it's a feminine scent in the same time. Very sexy, very, I do really like it. It definitely has some sunny wood because I'm getting a creaminess as well. 
The vanilla is not too sweet, but just adds a sweetness to this fragrance. And then again, that incense, I can barely smell it. For me, it's more like vanilla and laudanum and some sandalwood. I do really like it. Like, I do really like it. The last thing probably is very good. The projection is very good. Um, I've tested quite a few of uh, Carolina Herrera, the Confidential line, I think it's called, and all of them had very good lasting power and projection on me, but this one was my favorite, like I said, I think I tested probably all of them right now, this is my favorite, I did really like Mystery Tobacco, but I do have some fragrances that have a similar vibe, so that's why I have just this one, and I'm happy to have just this one, because it's, it's stunning, it's amazing, um, but again, not a safe blind, I, I actually it's a safe blind, but because you can return it, it's free return. Um, so just get it if you want to test it, get it and then get a sample of it as well. Just test the sample if you don't like it, send it back, it's completely free. Um, and you have the chance to actually test other fragrances from um, this line. So the first one that we're having here is from Carolina Herrera, and this one is Gold Incense. Right, because we started with something more like dark and sexy, let's continue with that and then we're going to talk about some milky fragrances and then we're going to talk about some more, I don't know, something brighter, maybe not the most ap appropriate fragrances for winter, but I do love them. I have some like citruses, fruity, citrusy uh, fragrances that are just amazing. Now, let's continue with the darker scents. I have from room 1015, 1015, it's usually called 1015. I got all of their samples, obviously, you know, I love Cherry Punk, absolutely love that one, and I thought I'm actually gonna love um, a fragrance that has a strong leather note, but that one is just amazing. And this fragrance, like, I love the bottle, you can't really see it properly, it looks black, but it's actually a very, very dark greyish green. I, I love the color of this bottle, it's such a unique color. Anyway, let's talk about the scent. As soon as I sprayed this one, I was like, yes, I do really, really like it. 1015, when you look on Fragrantica, it says completely different notes, okay? I mean, not different notes, but not all of the notes are listed. I do believe on Fragrantica, you, get, you have just mandarin, violet, and then sandalwood. Yes, you're getting the mandarin in the opening. You're getting this powdery sandalwood it has some iris as well so that's why you're getting it, it's like it's a dark sexy sandalwood perfume but it's not just sandalwood okay i know i know i told you about like a billion sandalwood perfumes because i'm just in love with this note right now this is way much more than that for me i'm getting sandalwood that mandarin orange but it's just in the opening Iris because it's a bit powdery and then it has Gaia Code and I'm definitely getting that. Actually I'm getting more like Oud Oud as in Argon Oud. It's such a sexy scent. I know it's not gonna be for everyone. I would say maybe get a sample, maybe I don't know. If you buy cherry pan for me, cherry pan like that, it's even though it has a leather note, it's pretty much a safe blind buy if you like a dark sexy cherry. This one, I would recommend you get a sample first, but it's such a beautiful scent, like that. I, I love sandalwood right now, okay? It opens up with sandalwood and uh, mandarin orange. It's a bit powdery already. And then like five minutes later, bam, you're getting that Gaia code. It's beautiful, it's this dark, woody fragrance, a bit powdery. And you're still getting the mandarin, just like hints of mandarin in it. Very unique scent, very unique scent, absolutely love it. On me, I saw on Fragmentica people saying that it doesn't really project. On me, this thing actually really, really projects. Same with um, Cherry Punk, that one is like beast mode on my skin. But it's such a beautiful sandalwood perfume. Not your typical sandalwood, but it's, it's, it's such a beautiful and unique one. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend you go and get a sample of this because it's good. If you like woody perfumes, if you like especially sandalwood perfume, you're absolutely gonna love this one. 1015 from Room 1015. All right, now is the moment when we're gonna talk about K. Ali Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. Listen. I saw that they're coming out uh, with this one 
and I was like, I need that. And then reviews started and people were saying, oh, it's very strong on the patchouli. I saw patchouli in the name, but I was like, maybe it's not going to be that strong, you know? And I was like, no, I'm not getting it. But like literally the marketing strategy is brilliant. And in the end, I got myself a bottle. It was a blind buy. Um, I bought this, okay. Um, I know some people are not happy with everyone getting a free bottle. I didn't get one, maybe because I didn't really like the latest releases but it's fine it's fine i do like other k alice okay this is supposed to be a flanker if i'm not wrong of um the original vanilla i do like vanilla for me i know that's like the og vanilla for so many people i know that that's their vanilla for me it's a beautiful vanilla but it's not my go-to vanilla it's not like oh my god i can't live without this i have other vanillas that i can say that but not with the k alice one i do really like it but it's not like for me it's nothing oh my god groundbreaking you know and i don't like patchouli so i don't know why why i bought it i generally don't know i i was just curious at this point i was just curious because some people absolutely hate this and some people absolutely adore this and i've seen again here on youtube on fragrantica that people are getting different things when they first got it um they could smell just patchouli and after maybe a week they started to smell that vanilla first of all let me tell you that this is not, is, in my opinion, it's definitely not um, a flanker of the original vanilla because I can't smell anything in common. Like, they have nothing. Okay. When I got this one three days ago, and for me, it still smells the same. I'm going to wait another week and then I'm going to um, come back here with an update right now. What I'm getting. I'm definitely getting the patchouli, okay? It's a strong patchouli. For me, patchouli, it's a note that I really don't like. Literally, I have maybe like three perfumes that have a strong patchouli note. I'm not, I thought I'm gonna hate this one, to be honest. I really thought I'm gonna hate it. It's very warm, for sure. You're getting a sweetness. It, it, kind, it actually smells like a sugar patchouli because it's sweet but then you're still getting that patchouli oil it's not like earthy patchouli it's more like pure patchouli oil and then you're getting something sweet as well in the dry down i know it has some oud i'm getting the oud just a little bit some people are getting a lot of oud i'm getting the wood just a little bit in the dry down some people think that they can't smell the patchouli anymore on my skin, the patchouli is, is still there. It's not as strong. The, the vanilla is definitely stronger. But it's still there. Do I hate it? No. Do I like it? I kind of like it. But I'm not obsessed. Like, it's definitely, it's definitely not another love. I'm going to give it, obviously, another week. That vanilla, it actually makes, makes sense because... The actual bottle on the big bottle is gold. It's gold. It actually smells like a gold vanilla, but then you have lots of patchouli. That's the only thing that if you don't like patchouli, like if you absolutely hate patchouli, if you despise patchouli, you're not gonna like this one. I ca I kind of like it, you know. I kind of like it. I don't want to trash it. I don't want to be like, oh, this is horrible. I kind of like it. Would I buy this one again? Probably not. Probably not. I know it's limited edition. Is it though? Is it though? I'm not sure. I, I, I do, I do kind of like it, but it's definitely not a love. The vanilla, yes, it's sweet in a way and syrupy, but that patchouli is very strong, like very strong, especially in the opening. Obviously, I tested it on skin, all of that, so don't think I tested it just on paper. This is for the past three days since I got it. And I, I do kind of like it. The dry down is definitely better. Um, I'm waiting now. I want to see how this one is going to work on my skin in a week time. Um, I need to give it, you know, an, another week because everyone was saying that it smells better. So I will, I will leave it sit in here, okay, for another week. And then I'm going to test it again. Right now, I kind of like it. I'm not obsessed. Again, the patchouli is very strong. Like, if you hate a note, you're going to absolutely hate this one. If you don't, this one you might actually like it especially because the dry down is quite good um but yeah 
I'm on the fence with this one, okay? I'm gonna leave it for another week and then I'm gonna come back here and tell you my my thoughts after one week. So we have Keali uh, Vanilla Royal Sugar Patchouli 64. Right, enough with the dark spicy fragrances. Let's move on to some lactonic perfumes. We have Blanche Bet from Liquid Imaginaire. Everyone is talking about this one. Okay, it was pretty hard for me to find it. I really like the presentation. Okay, you're getting, if I can just like, take it out, here we go. Getting like a dust bag and then you have the bottle. The bottle in reality is actually better than in pictures. I wasn't the biggest fan when I saw the bottle online, but in reality it's actually quite cute. And I really like the box. Like, for me, the box is very important. I do really like the box. Anyway, let's put this on the floor. Blanche Bet. Everyone is talking about this one being the best milky scent. I'm still not sure. Okay, I'm still not sure about this fragrance. Now, let me spray it. Like I, said, I, was, I was telling you before, it was impossible for me to find it. So it was quite expensive. I had to pay taxes as well. So it was actually very expensive in the end. This fragrance, obviously, again, I tested the skin as well. When I first got it, I got it the same day um, when I got my perfume, Chocolate Queen, and they were both like frozen. And I couldn't smell anything. Literally, I couldn't smell anything with this one. I was like, it's just a cold. I'm going to leave it sit for like three days. This is what I did. I didn't touch it for three days. And then I sprayed it again. I think this one has like a milk note. It has some jasmine. It has some musk. I think it has some cacao, if I'm not wrong. I don't get any cacao. What I get is, in the opening, I'm getting this musky, milky musk. But it's like, the musk is quite strong. I'm the type of person that really doesn't like any, any mask. Like I don't like clean mask. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I can't talk today. I don't like animalic mask, especially clean mask. Like clean mask, I don't know. I just don't like it for some reason. Narciso Rodriguez, everyone is crazy about those fragrances. I hate them. So maybe it's just me. Okay. Opening is this milk with lots of musk. And I was like, ah, is that everything? Then I'm starting to get the jasmine and it's a very milky jasmine. It's like condensed milk, warm condensed milk, quite sweet with some jasmine. And I love that. I really liked that mint. It reminded me slightly maybe of Tribeca from bar number nine, but that one is definitely stronger. That one has like a Baccarat Rouge vibe. That one has like a cow vibe going on. It's different, but just like it reminded me slightly of Tribeca because that one is milky and has jasmine as well. See the jasmine, the jasmine is coming and I do really like the meat but then the dry down on my skin I got the opening again like I got again musk and milk. I do like it. I don't dislike it. I just don't like it for how much I paid for it. It's just might be my skin, might be my nose. It's not sweet at all on my skin. Like, yes, it's sweet condensed me, but I, I thought it's going to be like way, way, way sweeter. I like unisex perfumes. I don't like and nothing has to be, not everything has to be sugar. Like sugar is sweet. I actually don't really like sugary perfumes. But no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need to wear it. I didn't wear it like properly, like outside. I wore it just in the house. It's musk and milk. The jasmine is coming finally and it's getting sweeter, but I don't know. I need to I need to work with this one, okay? Because I paid so much money for it. Even if I sell it, you know, like if I sell it for the original price that's listed on, on the website, I'm gonna lose money because I paid taxes, I paid shipping, I paid like a lot lots of things. I'm not sure. I would say go and get a sample first because this is like very, very expensive. I think if you live in the US, it's not that expensive because you can find with free shipping. But if if you're from the UK, get yourself a sample first because I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not saying like, obviously we all have different noses and we all smell different things. I'm just not getting the gourmand aspect about it. Like at all, like nothing, nada. 
nothing. Um, yeah, Blanche Pet from Liquid Imaginaire. It's a beautiful fragrance, but for the price, I'm not really sure. Okay, Blanche Pet from Liquid Imaginaire. All right, let's move on very quickly to the next one. That it's a very nice scent, but I'm not. I don't have the name here. It's from Maison Martin. Uh, ah, Avan. Avan Orange. I think Avan Orange from Maison Martin. Um, I ha have it here just a 15 ml. I remember actually testing this one like a while ago, and I actually liked it. And I need like to buy something else to get free shipping for another order, so I got this one. This is very, very, very similar to Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. It's just not as creamy and condensed as Zadig and Voltaire. That one, and it feels a bit more like fluffy and every comparing to Zadig and Voltaire. That one is basically um, whipped cream and chestnut and sandalwood. This is all of that. It's not as nutty. It's a bit more airy and just not as dense. Like it's more fluffy than creamy. I do really like it, but it's like super similar. There's literally no point of having them, both of them. If you have Zadik and Voltaire, you're good to go. If you have this one, you're good as well. Zadik and Voltaire is way, it's not actually way cheaper because this is like quite affordable for a niche perfume house. Um, it's beautiful. Nothing, nothing to say. It's beautiful. It's just like way too similar to Zadik and Voltaire to literally have both of them. So, um, Avan Orange from Maison Martin. Now, let's move on to another Lactonic fragrance that nobody talks about. We have from Gabriela Chiefo, Latte d'Oro. I got, again, very hard for me to find it, but I found it. I got just a 30 ml. Literally, this is the heaviest cup in the world. It's actually metal. Like, I'm not joking. This is metal. It's like so, 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 so heavy. Now, the scent. I found uh, I found out about this scent from the Gourmand King. Literally, I bought some perfumes because of him. And I'm actually very grateful because, yeah, he recommends very good stuff. Latte d'Oro is supposed to be a chai latte. I was like, hmm, that's a different take. I love it. I love it. It's such a unique gourmand. I absolutely love it. You need to like chai latte. It literally smells like tea, warm condensed milk, very milky, very sweet milk. And then you add some spices. Maybe you add some cinnamon, maybe you add some cardamom. Definitely has some cardamom in it. It, it has to have some cardamom. You add different spices and then you have this one. It's such an interesting scent. I know not everyone is gonna like it. You need, if you know how chai latte smells like, and you love that smell, then yes, you're gonna love this one. It's very strong, okay? For milky scent, this is a strong scent. It does project, it does last on the skin and it's so creamy, not creamy, milky, it's literally milky. Not sour at all. But then you have that like tea and spices and it's very like warm and cozy. It's beautiful. It's not gonna be for everyone, okay? It's not gonna be for everyone. Um, but for me, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so, so happy that I discovered this scent. Such a unique scent. I, I literally don't have anything like this in my collection and it's I don't know, it's something that I never thought I'm going to find in a fragrance. Again, it's not your typical woman. Don't think just um, milk. Don't think just... No. It's more than that. It's a bit spicy, but it's sweet as well. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, you can, you can tell from my face. Absolutely love it. You need to try it. I know how. I generally don't know how because for me it was pretty hard again to find it. But you, you need to try it because it's it's very good. Um, Gabriela Chiefo Latte d'Oro. All right, very, very quickly, let's move on to the fragrances that are more maybe appropriate for spring and summer, but I got them now because I just want to have my perfume collection completed and I want in 2023, that sounds so weird, 
and I don't want to buy any fragrance for the first six months. So sorry, we're not going to have any more hauls. It's going to be this one and I think another one and that's it. So I got I got myself a big bottle of Vanille, um, Vanille Coco from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. This is the box. I had a travel size. I used that one up. I love it so much, honestly. For me, I've tested probably like six or seven from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. I have two other bottles, but this is definitely my favorite. It's vanilla and coconut, but the coconut, it's quite artificial, not gonna lie, but the coconut doesn't feel like syrupy. I don't like when the when coconut is like sticky, when it's like syrupy. I, I don't like that. It feels like the vanilla is sweet and syrupy, and then you have sweet coconut as well. I do really like it. It doesn't have the best lasting power, um, but this is quite affordable, so I don't really mind that, especially in the summertime. I just like to respray my fragrances. And you're doing, when you're on holiday, you're doing like lots of things. So I like actually to change my fra fragrance. So I don't really mind the fact that this one doesn't last that long. But the scent is beautiful. I love it from, again, I tried uh, Bunny Banana. I've tried so many. This stays the same from the opening to the dry down. Most of them in the dry down are just like a plain flat vanilla. This still has that coconut in the dry down. So absolutely love it. Vanilla Coco from Contour Sud Pacific. And the next one, again, I had a travel size and I used that one up, so I had to get myself a full bottle. Dulcis in Fundo from Profumum Roma. I just told you that I don't like, I don't really like sugary perfumes and it's only sugary, so yeah. But it's like a good sugary. It literally smells like citruses and sugar. This is what you're getting. Don't think Italica, don't think nothing like that. That one has like a vanilla, has a creaminess. You have citruses and lots and lots of sugar. I love it. It's quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the cup. It's quite like, it's very plasticky. Like if I squeeze a bit harder, I'm gonna break it. But yeah. This is the box, actually comes with a roller ball, so you can decant from the bottle to the roller ball. I do like the idea, I'll never do that, I like to spray my perfume. Um, but yeah, this is, this is actually a very good one. I recommended it in the past, I talked about it in the past, it's like fresh sweet lemon, very realistic lemon with lots of sugar in it. This is what you're getting. Dolce in Fundo from Profumo Roma. And now let's move on to the last two perfumes that we have in here. One was a blind buy, one was not. They are both from Tiziana Terenzi. The first one is Leo. Um, I just realized I didn't look up for the notes. So you're getting all of those boxes. Not boxes, books, sorry, inside. I think it's a box as well. Anyway, that's the, uh, the bottle, standard presentation. You have the constellation at the top. Listen, Leo, it's a fragrance that I've tested in Selfridges, okay. And I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. Can I have it? We don't have it. They didn't have it in stock, but they had the tester. Yeah, makes no sense for me, but okay. You know how Tiziana Terenzi has that same DNA for like 90% of the fragrances. You have Kirke, you have Tabit, you have Cassiopeia, you have Andromeda, you have Tele, you, you have so many. I have others, okay? I have three of the ones I've mentioned. But this is different. This has a kumquat note. And I can definitely smell it. And then it's very creamy, almost lactonic. It's very expensive and hard to find. But I got it from Perfume Dreams on Black Friday and I had like 25% off, so I couldn't say no. The price was already better than the one in Selfridges, so that price with 25% off, I couldn't, I really couldn't say no. This is such a beautiful summer scent. It's different. This is what I like. It's different. Yes, you're still getting that like fruity aspect. Obviously, it's not going to be just kumquat. You have, you're having other fruits as well. But it's that creaminess, it's like a body lotion type of texture. It's beautiful, I love it. I, I love it so much. In the dry, now that I start to dry down slightly, okay, you're getting other fruits for sure, but that kumquat note is still strong and it's still, it feels like the kumquat is very 
creamy and silky and oh I love it I love it I love it I love it it's it's such such a beautiful scent um I'm so happy to have it in my collection literally when they told me if we don't have it I was like then why you have a tester and I've, I've tried the next week same story they didn't have it but the tester was out makes no sense anyway uh Leo from Tiziana Terenzi and the last scent that we have in here and again from Tiziana Terenzi we have Draco same presentation here is the box let me just do that uh, Draco was a blind buy. This was on sale on All Beauty for the longest time and I've read so many good reviews about this fragrance and then when I wanted to buy it, it was sold out. And I could find it just for the original price which was like 250 on All Beauty was like 130 so I was like no, no thank you. So again I bought it from Perfume, uh, Perfume Dreams when they had a Black Friday sale and I do like it, I'm just not obsessed, okay? This is supposed to be a peach scent and everyone was saying that it's like the most elegant and beautiful peach. It's a beautiful scent, don't get me wrong. It was supposed to be peach and musk, which again, I was a bit afraid of the musk, but I was like, okay, fine, let me try it. It has lots of citruses in the opening, like lots of them. Yes, you're getting the peach, but if I will not read that this one has peach, I will have no idea. It just feels, it feels very similar to Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia for me is more like, again, that Tiziana Terenzi DNA, that style of like fruity fragrance. But this one, it's not as creamy as Cassiopeia. It's a bit more citrusy and then you're getting the musk. I'm not really getting that like super feminine, elegant peach that everyone was talking about. Don't get me wrong, I do really like it. I, I think that my expectation was just like a bit high. I do really like it. I'm gonna wear it, okay? I'm gonna wear it, not now because it's freezing cold, it's literally snowing outside and I'm like, why? Just why? Um, If you don't know, I hate snow, I hate cold, I, I don't like any of this. I like going on holidays and wearing not necessarily this one. Wearing this one. This is what I like. But yeah, Draco from Titian Terenzi. It has a Titian Terenzi DNA. I do really like it. Um, not really, really like it. But I do like it. Um, but I need to play more with this one. But Leo, Leo is absolutely amazing. Like, amazing. You need to try that one. So, the last thing that we have in here is Draco from Titiana Terenzi. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below what um, is your favorite fragrance from this haul, if you ever tested them, if you like them, if you don't, and all of that. Don't forget, guys, it's the last week when you can get my chocolate queen for 20% off. We don't have that many bosses left, so I'm going to leave, obviously, the link for the video where you can find out everything that you need to know about chocolate queen, the shipping, and all of that. And I'm going to leave the link for Navitus website. This is the last week. This is the last week, very very soon it's going to be out of stock and then I don't know exactly when it's going to be back in stock. So if you want to buy it, some of you actually told me that you want a backup bottle, the, um, the ones that already received their bottles. If you want a backup bottle, get it now because I don't know when it's going to be available, when this is going to be sold out. So anyway, that was it for today. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these, if you like them, if you don't, all of that. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, what I was about to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.